This is Hilding Vilding. He is a tiny spy and curious about most things. Today, he has decided to find out about what happens when food is stuffed in one end and comes out as poo the other end. Come along! Hilding Vilding jumps into the mouth of his mate Felix, who has just stuffed a spoonful of sweet corn into his mouth. And swish! He travels down the chute from Felix's tongue. Now he descends the gullet through half of Felix and in through the upper portion of the stomach, which is like the door to the stomach itself. Flop! Hilding Vilding lands right in the stomach. It's roughly like a cave or like a balloon which is super wet inside from what is called stomach juice. And here the food stays for up to five hours in order to be kind of melted down to a rather scary slush that will gradually become poo. And do you know, it is for this same reason that many, many hours must have passed since one last ate or drank when one is to be put into a deep sleep and have an operation in hospital. Otherwise, one might start to vomit while one sleeps, and that is not amusing. Can you hear how it grumbles and bubbles when the poo melts in Felix's tummy? Suddenly, Hilding Vilding is sucked down into a large hole in the bottom of the stomach. Slurp! Now he is inside the small intestine, a six meter long tunnel where the scary slush moves at roughly two and a half centimeters per minute. The reason that it moves so slowly is that the small intestine must have time to suck up all the vitamins and other important nutrients that Felix needs in order to live. Ho, 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 ho. Roughly four hours later, Hilding Vilding gets down in the large intestine. It is precisely as it sounds, much larger than the small intestine, but only about one and a half meters long. The thick intestine gurgles and squeezes, more or less like a boa constrictor, when the water is sucked out from what is left over of the food. The scary slush starts to become brown and to harden. And of course, it smells. Yes, that's it, poo. And quite rightly, when the food leftovers have lain in the large intestine for eight or ten hours or so, Felix needs to go to the loo. And Hilding Vilding, he gets ready to leave by the rear exit. That is to say, through Felix's bottom, or, to put it in slightly finer terms, the rectum. <coughs> Splosh! And... As for you, Felix, make sure not to flush now before you have saved poor Hilding Building. He is tired since all his trip through your body took about 18 hours. By the way, did you know that a person produces about 50 kilos of poo every year? That thousands of millions of harmless bacteria live in your stomach and that the smell of poo really comes from them and not from you.